Thank you, Scott. I can tell you when I got locked out of the building this morning that it is very cold. And shout out to Director <laughs> Cam for letting me back in. Fine contributor Hannah Williams is with us right now. And all this week, she's been helping us get ready for the big game on Sunday. We've discussed some party ideas, the best halftime shows, the best national anthems. So what are we talking about today, Hannah? <clears throat> Yeah, today we're talking about everybody else's favorite part, and that's Super Bowl commercials. You know, there's so many iconic Super Bowl commercials, mm -hmm. uh, but obviously I've narrowed it down to some of my top favorites, uh, and obviously basketball will have to be top one for me. Uh, we're going to take it back to 1993 called The Showdown with Michael Jordan and Larry Bird as they face off for a McDonald's Big Mac, and it also popularized the saying, nothing but net. Oh, that's awesome. Play you for it. You and me for my Big Mac? First one to miss watches the winner eat. No donkey. <laughs> that is so great. And of course, anyone that has been a basketball fan for the last like 40 years, I don't know, 30 years is going to love that commercial and remember that because they were they were basketball. They were the NBA at that time. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So now we're taking it even further back to 1980 with probably the most iconic Super Bowl commercial of all time that everybody remembers featuring uh, Mean Joe Green as he walks out of the stadium and a little boy gives him a Coca-Cola. Just as simple as that. And it became very iconic and it even spurred a TV movie uh, and even international versions of this commercial. Want my Coke? It's okay, you can have it. No, no. Really, you can have it. Okay. <sighs> that is seriously one of the most iconic commercials of all time, not just from the Super Bowl. Yes, absolutely. Okay, and so now we're taking it to even another really iconic commercial. Uh, you know the saying, you're not you when you're hungry? Uh, well, back in 2010, <laughs> Betty White was featured in a Snickers commercial, and who doesn't love Betty White? But she created this iconic tagline, and it became what it is today. Mike, what is your deal, oh, man? Oh, come on, man. You've been riding me all day. Mike, you're playing like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 Eat Snickers. Oh, I love her. She is just so sassy. That, that's great to see her in that, you know, feisty right there in that commercial. It makes me laugh. I know it. Everybody says that now. You're not you when you're hungry. Uh, <laughs> so next we're going to 2018 with a Doritos versus Mountain Dew commercial where obviously you got Peter Dinklage, you've got Morgan Freeman, and they're rapping to Buster Rhymes and Missy Elliott. I don't really think you can get more iconic than that. Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? How much wood would you chuck if wood you could chuck wood? You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Showtime, baby. That is great. It's, it's always funny, it's, you know, you're seeing those people together that you maybe normally wouldn't see all in one commercial. Yeah, I know it. I mean, just they're iconic in themselves. Anything that they do, it's always going to be great. Um, and then last but not least, this one was just so special to me because I love it when somebody reprises their role. Uh, last year in 2020, uh, Jeep brought back Groundhog Day because obviously the Super Bowl was on Groundhog Day last year. And Bill Murray came back and reprised his role. And it was the, to me, the best thing ever. Bill? No, not you. It's me, man, Ryerson. Okay, little fella, good job. That's different. Good job. Hey! That's awesome. Bill Murray is always so beloved. Anything he does is funny and amazing uh, and you know there are always those tearjerker commercials too and one of those usually is the Budweiser commercials uh, with the the Clydesdale horses which they're not even advertising this year so mm -hmm. there's some people that are, are not going to be 
um, on the Super Bowl commercial breaks that we usually see so it's going to be an interesting year but these are great Hannah it's always good to look back at some of the funniest most iconic commercials and we'll be right back.